here with an experimental video on showing how I go about creating a very simple script. So the inspiration for this video is in part the Dare Table conference that I was at and also this particular post on the Airtable community forums where someone would like to convert a string here and split it into an array to create several different records. So here is the post. I'm just going to copy the body of it and I've got a sandbox table over here. Let me go ahead and let's add a description app where I can paste this in so that I know what I'm doing. Okay, so let's set up the base. There's a string of URLs like this, so let's create this. I'm guessing this is a single line text field and say, call that. Actually, let's make this URLs. And paste that value in. And let's just delete these because I don't like having them here. Okay. And then the task is split this out and eventually we want to have several different records with each of those URLs in the additional fields. So let's also get rid of these extra fields. Okay, and now let's add scripting app. Clear that. Now, one of the first things that I like to do when I write a script is I like using variable names for my tables uh, rather than directly hard coding the table names within the main body of it. So let's do const table equals base get table table one and then const field urls equals table dot get field urls okay and then what we need to do is we need to get the record so we'll, let's do trigger record equals weight uh, input record async make a record and that's for the table okay and then we'll need to get that set value so const visual urls equals record get cell value Field URLs. What is this one here? Okay. And then let's just run this real quick. Let's just do console log URLs. Now I'll put that in curly braces. To run. There's only one per turn. Whoops. Field. Oops. Typo. There we go. Run. There we go. Okay. There it shows. There are our URLs. Uh, you know, I don't like having this squiggly underlined, so I'm going to show you. The other thing I do is I tend to throw everything in a main function. Main. Function main because if I do this and then I'll put here just something to do, I can say here is after that getting the record, if not record. Because there was no record, so now I don't have the squiggly URLs there. The squiggly red underlines. Okay. All right, so we ran this and we could see that we got that list. Now we need to split that list into the different parts. So, well, array is going to be URL split and let's put them all comma. And let's console log those 
be right above. Okay, so here we go. Here's the URL, and we can see it. One, two, three, four. All right. And now we want to create records with those. Let's get rid of that extra one. And so what we can do is record to create. We're going to take that URL array, and let's map it to the create format. URL and there we go. It will be an object of fields actually. So we've got our object. We can turn this object, and the field that it wants is field URLs name, and the value would just be the URL. Actually, let's go ahead and let's keep this as multiple console logs so that we can kind of see the progress. So we'll show that and alrighty. Actually, I think this needs to be another thing there. record. So there's original rails, we had an array, and then we change that into our format where we have our records to create. And that's the value for each one. Looks good. So now let's go ahead and print those. We only have four, so we can do this all in one. We can do up to 50 at a time. Create table, create Record async. Records to create. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, well, there are those new ones here. And then let's go ahead and get rid of the original one. It should be Read record, which would be the original record. So let's delete these. Run it again, and let's see, we should get the four new ones, but and the original one deleted. There we go. You might want something different, but this is what I chose to write.